All right. Hi, Jeanette. How are you today? Good. How are you, Mike? Great. Thanks. And thanks for spending a few minutes with me today. Um, I know that you live in Maynard, and I just wanted to uh, ask you a few questions about the town so that when we have buyers looking in the area, they have this resource to uh, kind of consider as they're making their buying decisions. How long have you lived in Maynard? Um, about two and a half years at this point. Oh, okay. Okay. Where did you move from? I was in Ashland at the time. In Ashland. So what drew you to Maynard? Um, the house that we found. I knew nothing about the town of Maynard. I didn't. I actually didn't grow up in this area. I grew up in Connecticut. So um, I've lived in Massachusetts for over 10 years at this point. So I, I know this area a little bit, but Maynard I had never even heard of because it's this teeny tiny town wedged in between Concord, Sudbury, Stowe, and Acton. It's five square miles. So if you're driving through it and you blink, you're going to miss it. Um, but we were just looking for houses in the Metro West area and we weren't finding anything. We weren't finding anything. And we expanded our, our search to Maynard and we found this house that just checked off all the boxes that we were looking for, um, in the price range that we were looking for. So we thought, all right, let's just take a drive out to the country and check it out. So, um, here we are. That's how we landed here. That's fun. So, and you work in Framingham. I do. Um, now, when you're commuting, how is it as, as far as the commuting area goes? Um, fine. I uh, lucky, lucky enough, my gym is halfway between here and my office, so I would do a pit stop there in the morning, get my morning workout in, and then continue on. Um, but it's about a half hour from door to door when I'm nonstop. Okay, cool. And I know that there's been a lot of a uh, lot of new things happening downtown. Um, are there any like can't miss restaurants or shops or anything that uh, if you're in Maynard, you kind of have to check out. Yeah, I feel like Maynard has sort of slowly been unfolding itself to us over the last two and a half years. Um, we live walking distance from downtown, which I didn't take advantage of for the first year, I don't think. Um, but there are a couple things like we have a new brewery that just opened up called um, Oh, I'm drawing uh, Armory's, no, uh, Armory's Tomb. Yes, Armory's Tomb. Um, they have a fun little outdoor seating area so that you can um, have some beers outside. Uh, they have a ton of restaurants in the downtown area, um, which of course is fun. But I think more than anything, one of the biggest um, draws to Maynard for me is they have the rail trail that, that goes through the center of town, um, which spans, I don't know, hundreds of miles or something like that. But um, so we go for bike rides on the rail trail and there's this hidden little gem at the end of uh, one of the paths that you're, you're biking down it and it just opens up to this huge grass field where there are little biplane planes, private planes, um, taking off and landing all day, every day. And they're just privately owned by people in the area. And it's just so much fun to bike out there and watch these planes take off and land on this grass landing field. And then for the cherry on top, there is this trapeze school in the same grass field that is happening in the background. So as these planes are taking off and landing, you can turn around and watch these people fly through the air as they practice their trapeze moves. And it's just a fun afternoon activity to do on a Saturday or Sunday. You pack a picnic lunch and you just go out there with your kids and watch planes take off and bodies fly through the air. It's really fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. I, 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 yeah. I'm i afraid that we're going to have like hundreds of new bikers out there uh, <laughs> taking this hit and it's already hitting away from you. <laughs> That's funny. So, here, here's a question. If uh, if you had to leave Maynard, what would you miss most? Um, besides the rail trail, uh, just being walking distance to everything. I've never lived in a house that I am walking distance to downtown. And I think that that's a really overlooked um, part of this this town because, because it is so small. You can almost walk everywhere. Um, 
And in the summer, they have an ice cream shop that just opened up downtown so we can walk into town, which is for us half a mile um, with our one and a half year old and get some ice cream and sit in the town square and watch the people go by. Um, so I would say it would be the walking distance to everything in town. All right. And is there anything else that a buyer should know before we let you go uh, when they're thinking about moving to Maynard? Um, I've, I've heard it been referred to as a hidden gem. It's, it's just this little town that most people have never heard of, but it's a really, um, artsy community. There are a lot of artists that live here. We have a big, um, school converted into an art studio in town where local artists come and do their work. It's called the art space. So it, it kind of draws this kind of artsy hippie community, which I'm totally into. Um, uh, so there, there's that aspect to it. And it's, it's just a, a fun little hidden gem of a town that it just keeps like showing us what else it has to offer, which has been really fun. Awesome. Jeanette, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for sharing sure. information and, and uh, some secret spaces about Maynard that people can check out. Yeah. And we will uh, do our best to get you some new neighbors at Maynard. Great. Bring them on. All right. Take Bye. care. Bye.